cooking apa? Hi, this is cooking apa? Today I'm going to do a braised pork leg, yeah, braised pork leg using a cast iron um, pot. Okay, so actually you have to first of all you need to understand the characteristic of a cast iron pot. Then only you can adjust the cooking style accordingly. All right. Now I have about uh, one uh, one kg plus of uh, front leg. Yeah, this is the front leg uh, pork leg and uh, some uh, three layer meat here. And I have blanched it. Uh, if you want to learn how to blanch a uh, meat, I will give you the link at the end of this video. You can just click on the Pakute video, and you will get the you can find the videos on blanching. All right, and the ingredient is actually very simple. You need Chinese called chong jiang suan, yeah, the uh, the, the green uh, green onion and spring onion, the ginger, and also few cloves of garlic, okay, and then you will need you need one uh, cinnamon stick, uh, one bay leaf, uh, two star anise, and about half teaspoon of fennel seeds. Okay, so for those of you who cannot find some of these things here, well, at least you should have the star anise and the cinnamon stick. Okay, the rest is optional. Okay, and I'm going to start cooking it using some uh, red onion oil, and we need some uh, sugar to uh, caramelize the the gravy. So I have about um, one and a half tablespoon of rock sugar here another one tablespoon of brown sugar i always like to mix the two if you don't have this use you want and you want to use a normal white sugar it's totally okay yeah totally fine now the black color thing you're seeing here is actually my old my old uh frozen uh braised gravy i actually keep keep uh, frozen it and i'm going to re uh, reuse reuse it later to be part of my today's dish if you don't have it, it's okay, it's totally optional. And of course, you can put some uh, rehydrated shiitake mushroom and you can braise also some uh, hard boiled egg and also tofu. Okay, and something very interesting here today, I'm going to add some peanut sauce. All right, just to give it a different uh, feel. Okay, so we will start cooking shortly. Alright, here is my uh, cast iron wok. So we will start with uh, putting in the oil inside a cold wok. Okay, whenever you are using, uh, these are the red onion oil I'm using. Um, whenever you are using a cast iron oil, use I cast iron wok. Use it uh, almost like how you are going to use a standard steel wok, which means you have to add the oil in cold wok. Okay. That is to prevent sticking. Well, in the end of the day, it will still stick, but uh, it will make it lesser. Okay, then you can slowly raise the heat. You don't want to be extremely high heat because um, it can actually burn rather easily. Okay, so you will you will want to use the uh, red onion oil to stir fry your ginger. Okay, and also your garlic. And not forgetting your green onion. Okay, you actually put I actually put the whole stock of green onion inside. All right. Then we give it some stir. Remember, cast iron you cannot use a standard steel wok uh, spatula. You have to use either silicone or use a wooden one like this. Okay. Along the way, I will try to explain what are the things that we have to uh, pay attention to, especially when you are using a cast iron uh, wok or pan or uh, pot for that matter. Okay, you, you can actually start hearing the seasoning sound. Um, the oil is started to heat up and the fragrance coming out. It started to coming out from the uh, ingredient and we can actually put in 
this. You can also put this into a tea bag if you want to, but I'm alright. Okay. Give it some stir. Extremely fragrant right now from all my spices. Okay. Can I actually add in the rock sugar. We can add in the brown sugar later. can see clearly let me adjust a little bit let me adjust the angle a little bit. okay I hope this is a better angle for you okay you can actually smell all the fragrance summing up if you really want to do it 100% right you really have to camerize your rock sugar but seriously I don't really care much okay and you can actually put in stir fry your shiitake mushroom to really bring out the smell of the shiitake mushroom okay just for your information Appa will slowly add in uh, all the subtitles for all my videos uh, slowly lah, uh, stages by stages because in order for me to add in one subtitle it takes in at least one hour okay very very fragrant right now we can actually toss in our pork leg these are normally front leg okay front leg why not the uh, ray ones because I think front leg are actually uh, easier to chew and also they are smaller yeah, the ray, the ray legs are very, very huge. All right. Let's give it a few stir. Well, one of the advantage of using a cast iron wok on the electric stove is that I noticed that uh, unlike my normal walk, my, my walk when I'm taking the video, it will actually move around. But because the uh, cast iron is so heavy, so it wouldn't move too much. So, which is good, which is very good. Okay. All right, so now we can actually Now we can actually add in my old brace. Yeah, this is the old brace. Chinese always like to keep their brace. So, uh, it, it will, we, we, we do believe the old brace will actually make your, your dish a lot more flavorful. Okay, so it's definitely not enough. We need the brace to cover all the meat, all the meat uh, thoroughly. So I will add in some hot water. If you have a chicken stock, you can put in, you can use any chicken stock here. Okay, you can use your stock, no worries. Mm -hmm. So why do we want to have a blanching process? Because we want to remove the impurities. Okay. Um, we need to add dark soya sauce, at least uh, two, two, three tablespoons. Okay. This is to give it a caramelized, darkened color. All right. We can still adjust along the way. Don't worry. But this dish is supposed to be totally black. Yeah, very dark. And. We will add in soya sauce, give it a few rounds. Alright. 
give it some salt. We can do the final seasoning later. This is just the starting part. Okay. And brown sugar. Now we can add in the brown sugar. And I'm going to add in the magic, the secret recipe here, which is the peanut sauce. Okay. Okay, we can actually give it a bit more. I'm giving two, three tablespoons of uh, peanut sauce here. You will add, you will give it some very nice peanutty flavor to this dish. It's actually there's one dish, a very similar dish in Philippines, which is actually using peanut sauce. Yeah, and they are braising the, they are also braising the uh, what you call uh, the leg, yeah, uh, pork leg. All right, so we are going to uh, bring it to a boil and then lower it down the heat to medium low and let it simmer for at least 45 minutes. Okay, we'll come back shortly. Okay, it is actually boiling right now. So I'm going to add in about a half teaspoon of five spice powder. If you don't have five spice powder, you can actually add in some cinnamon powder as well. So right. Okay. Okay, I'm going I'm going to turn down the fire. We don't add in the egg and uh, tofu now. We add in towards the last 10 minutes or so. Okay, we will turn down the fire until low, low heat. Okay, and I'm going to close it, yeah, close the lid and let it simmer for, well, depending on what kind of texture you want, you prefer your pork skin to have. Um, I would say, let's give it, let's let it simmer for 30 minutes under low heat. And then I'm going to off the heat and continue let it simmer for another uh, 15 minutes at least. Okay. Um, why I'm doing this is because one major difference between cast iron wok and normal stainless steel wok is it has very good heat retention. So the moment you off the heat, actually the heat will actually still retain in the wok at least on, for another half an hour to even one hour or so. So you uh, you don't want to overcook it okay because uh, especially if you are cooking certain very uh, sensitive things like uh, the fish maw if you cook it under a, a cast iron wok uh, for more than 30 minutes i'm telling you it's exactly like a pressure cooker it will melt yeah it will melt why is it a pressure cooker number one you can feel the lid is extremely extremely heavy so the moment it cools you close the heat the whole thing you are actually creating a, a what you call a pressurized environment so using a cast iron cooker you are basically cook using it almost like a, a, a pressurized cooker therefore you can't you can't cook it for too long okay if not everything will be melted so we come we will come back after about approximately 30 minutes all right then i will off the fire okay all right this is after about 30 minutes so let's see what we have gotten here Ooh. check it out nice okay usually if using under the normal uh, stainless steel wall i will actually uh, let it brace for minimum 45 minutes to one hour so um, this one, um, let me see. Okay, okay, very springy. Okay, you can actually see I have some very springy um, uh, pork skin here. All right, 
nice beautiful braised color okay and all the garlic is will be very very uh, tasty yeah not forgetting the uh, mushrooms all right now so i'm going to add in tofu okay to let in the tofu and four eggs you can put in as many eggs as you, as you like See, the egg will, will taste fantastic all right so i will uh, just close the lid again and let it simmer for another minimum 15 minutes to half an hour so it depends on you um, either 15 minutes or half an hour it should be ready to be eaten okay we will come back shortly okay this is after another 15 minutes simmering under uh, zero heat yeah Okay. Yeah, I think you can go for another 15 minutes But yeah, it's de definitely ready to be uh, eaten uh, Only my tofu, I don't mind to brace it for another 15 minutes or so but, uh, The egg is fine Okay, Let let's see uh, Let's do some final seasoning here mm, Okay can do with more saltiness okay or by some sugar use a bit more soya sauce let me quickly taste it again Yep, just nice. Right, then I'm going to decorate with some uh, fresh cilantro here. All right, so there you go. This is my um, braised pork leg with um, using a cast iron uh, pot here. Now, if you if you are not so sure about whether you can accept the uh, peanut sauce, you can do away with the peanut sauce. Okay, don't worry. It is only a variation to it. All right. So if you like my video, do share on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Facebook fan page. You click both the like and follow button and follow up on uh, Instagram as well as YouTube. All right. Thank you very much. Bye bye.